Okay, today I'm out here next to my house where I have been keeping <coughs> some of this wood that I have milled up recently. Um, and all of this stuff here, let me get you situated. All this stack here is mostly maple. There's a little bit of ash on the bottom there. So I, I broke out uh, my Dr. Meter uh, pinless moisture meter. And I'm just checking uh, some moistures here. And I am in the, the mid-teens. There's some spots where it's a little bit higher. Specifically where the stickers were. But uh, otherwise, or towards the ends, otherwise, I'm in the mid-teens for the most part. And I, I really want to get this wood moved so I can use this space for something else. So today we're going to load this up in the back of the, the Ford. Take it around back and I'm going to show you what the final destination for this stuff is going to be. Stick with me. Okay, so there's all of those uh, like five footers that we made out of that one giant maple log. Um, and then this is all ash that you see here. I'm going to leave the ash for now. We're going to do something with this maple. Okay, so this will be the next step uh, processing that maple for me to use. So I'm out back here by my garage and I need a flat edge. And <clears throat> there's a lot of ways you can do this. You can use a jointer, you can use a table saw, or you can use a router table. And um, I've already done this on a few pieces of ash and I'm gonna use this for the maple. So this comes with a, a 1 16th shim like this, right? And what this does is it slides in behind here, right? And you tighten that down and that's gonna make this end stick out 16th of an inch further than the other side, okay? Which, yeah, that makes sense, right? Um, so then we'll feed in this direction from left to right and we'll cut it off and then it will um, take off just a little bit, like 16th of an inch or less in some areas because it's going to be bowed or whatever. But we'll, we'll get things set up here. Um, what you want to do is basically, it doesn't really matter how far or if these are even, right? Because your, uh, all you're doing is trimming off the difference between the first one and the second one if that makes sense. What I want to do is bring it up so the cutting edge is even with the outfeed side and then tighten down my fence. And I'll show you here the little bit of a gap that's in between there. I don't know if you can be able to see that but there's a little bit of a gap between the in feed and the out feed. So it'll ride up against here, get trimmed off, and then stay straight against here. So we're gonna to wanna to keep pressure on the out feed side after we get through the cut. So now it's pretty much set up. I'm gonna get my stuff so we can do this. And this particular router table has two plug-ins one for the router and one for the uh, vacuum. So we'll be able to use that with just one switch. So everything turns on with one switch.
All right, so I'm discovering something about this. <clears throat> this is rough sawn, and it does not want to slide on this table with the hoot. So I think we're gonna have to put it through the thickness planer first. Okay, so I have this much planed so far. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up. God dang, that stuff is amazing. Look at all that curl in there. I hope the camera can pick this up. I think what be, me being on this side of the, um, the sun, the back side of the sun. Now it's not perfectly planed, but it'll give me a smooth side to uh, run over the router table. And I'm only gonna plane one side because the other side's gonna be against a stud wall. So who really cares what that looks like, right? But this side will be out. And uh, yeah, here's my DeWalt planer. I got this a couple years ago when I was first in the chainsaw milling. And uh, it's the, the smaller, the DeWalt's. You know, it's got the, the crank up here, not a wheel on the side. So, but I'm gonna keep chugging along here. And uh, planting some more boards. I got a few more left in the truck to do. So here's all the uh, stuff that I got finished up. <clears throat> so basically, these all have one flat side here. The other side is still rough sawn. And then these two edges are parallel. And of course, these ends here are cut however the chainsaw cut it. Um, so they'll have to be squared up, but you have two parallel ends to be able to miter cut that with a chop saw or miter saw, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so yeah, cut one end, cut to your length, and then you have your one by for putting up on the wall. Now, this, this all over here is four and three quarter width. These are four and a half. As I've gone through this process, I've had to call out uh, pieces here and there. When I was planning, there were some that was just too thick compared to the other ones I was doing, so they got pulled out. Or there's cracks in it or whatever like that, so. Um, Basically, from the 56 that we start with, that's what we have left. Hopefully this uh, video was informative on, on how I take my milled lumber and turn it into something useful for myself. And in the future, I will show you when I put this up on the walls in, inside my shed out back, the uh, Timber Visions headquarters. Um, 
but yeah so i got it milled down pretty good um and ready to put up i haven't decided if i'm going to stain it or not um all of this figuring in here would really pop out with a little bit of staining so i might be doing that as well but hopefully you found it useful uh just a little bit different way to to get two straight edges and then your third straight edge so you can use it for um putting up in the wall now you could put like a shiplap on this or something like that and i thought about doing that but um these i'm just gonna butt up to each other and if it does dry a little bit more and get a little gap there i'm really not that concerned because it's like it's just a shed wall right um, mostly it's a much cheaper option than going and buying some type of wall board to put up there in, instead you know um, something that my tree that i took down last year i can turn into something to put on my walls um, which I find very gratifying so thanks everybody for stopping in today if you like this uh, hit the like button and if there's something you're interested in seeing more of because I will be doing more of this type of stuff uh, go ahead and subscribe ring that notification bell so you know when I make another, put out another video until next time, be safe, brothers and sisters.